You don't have to tape it. No, I've got to. Because I've got to hear it. Dude, are you sure that didn't land on uh, something? Because we got a whole ass. bunch of stuff over there. Oh, there's a laptop back there. Yeah, mine, asshole. Yeah, I just kind of tucked my bag. And there's a projector. <laughs> just kind of chucked my bag back there. I didn't really care. Anyway, I request for this letter to go to Stuart Snyder, the head of Terry Broadcasting Network. Dear Mr. Schneider, I have several questions and comments regarding your programming for Cartoon Network in the United States. First of all, I am curious as to why you have a real part of Cartoon Network with the word cartoon in the name of the network. I figure that it is because you may be doing testing and rating analysis which may contribute to a new operating channel with all real programming. While reverting Cartoon Network to cartoons only. One of the shows that concerns me is on your real block. Dude, what would happen? It is a show about three teenagers who come up with somewhat cool ideas, but they aren't very useful ones. I recall one episode where they filled a Volkswagen Beetle with 8,000 pounds of water, just so they could have a car that drove underwater. <sighs> yes, I understand they weren't really trying to drive underwater, but it was nothing more than a pointless stunt. Along with other than their speedy pizza delivery system, I, I, I they know. They chucked pizzas at the door? Yeah, they chucked pizzas at the door at fucking Frisbee's. Like, here's your pizza! <laughs> you don't have to pay for it! Stupid asses. <sighs> There's gravel in my pizza. <laughs> I know that I'm a few years older than your target. I know that I'm a few years older than your target age group, but that doesn't excuse for how that doesn't give an excuse for how bad Cartoon Network has gotten. Now, I fear Cartoon Network is heading in the same general direction as MTV and VH1 have gone since '81. Don't forget about Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. No, Nickelodeon's been doing okay. Nickelodeon's not half bad. I mean, sure. Nickelodeon's could... good. Anyway. MTV stands for music television. Years ago, viewers would watch their favorite artists sing their favorite songs, while having new music introduce them at the same time. Music such as Cher or The Safety Dance, along with other pop, rock, and a wide variety of genres. But look at MTV today. It is rare to find a music video, let alone new music or news about your favorite artist. Why? Because MTV is now nothing but college kids trying to get into each other's pants on what we, for some reason, call reality television. I am not saying your new network is going to host rappers and profanity-induced college shows, but I am saying Cartoon Network is veering off into a sense of simple-minded programming. AKA, it's heading down the shutter. Yep. However, I do not see funding as an issue for programming quality, because on Destroy, Build, Destroy, you have bulldozers, explosives, and bazookas, along with heavy other equipment at your disposal. On Dude, What Would Happen... Other heavy equipment? Yeah. Yeah, you said it wrong the first time. Anyway, go on. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on, go on. <laughs> on Dude, What Would Happen, the use of flamethrowers seems to appear in every fucking episode! <laughs> Along with filling a Volkswagen with water and large fish. Yeah, so you need to fix the headliner here. I know. The My Other Siders has their own ghost detecting equipment. Uh, that's, th that's like their own business, though, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think Cartoon Network. take off of Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters is But they have better. night vision cameras, helmet cameras, and even FLIR like heat vision cameras. Granted, some of okay. your new shows are coming from Canadian broadcasting companies. Such as? Such as Total Drama Island. 16. Johnny. Yes. Total Drama Island. Total Drama. I didn't do the in school research. <laughs> Total Drama Island. Total Drama Action. 16. <laughs> Johnny Test. And what the hell you said? Stoked. I'm stoked. It's stupid show in the begin with, but I like some of it. not to say that these shows are bad, but they aren't as good as they could be. Any person who grew up in the 90s and into the 2000s watching Cartoon Network for several hours a day, ask them and they will tell you how they miss shows like Powerpuff Girls, Ed, Ed and Eddie, I Am Weasel, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Dexter's Lab, Codename Kids Next Door, Evil Con Carney, Megas XLR, Samurai Jack, and Sheep in the Big City. Ah. Sheep in the Big City, which at the highest time was the best rated premiere for a Cartoon Network original series. Sheep in the Big City was meant to appeal to older viewers by using more sophisticated language and bigger words. Ed, Ed and Eddie was even hosted on the Kids' Choice Awards, sponsored by Nickelodeon, a part of Viacom. The cartoons in the 90s had so much quality, so much flair and quality that it was so difficult to beat. Megas XLR was not going to be original series, but they ran out of funding for it. Yeah. So, Mr. Schneider, this is what it has come to. Low quality rating... Low quality programming, resulting in low ratings and risking the reputation of such an uh, amazing network and and uh, on a series of reality shows on, on Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. You know Cartoon Network was founded in 1990, don't you? What? Cartoon Network was founded in 1990. So? They still did better than this. Yeah. They still did way better. For real? Even... 
Even the stuff like, I don't know, Bugs Bunny and Roadrunner is better than the crap today. Duh. And those Roadrunner, are, those are Roadrunner ex- nothing ever happened except for the coyote would get the crap beaten out of him by something random that he would try and do. And the Roadrunner just goes, meep, meep, and yeah, then but it's runs. Fine to watch. Yeah, but I mean, those are fucking classics. I mean, come, I, know. I mean, come on, think about it. Those are classics, but the thing it is, is that they're going away from kick them. His, I mean, pretty much kick, it, kick the coyote's ass without doing a thing. I know, that was awesome. <laughs> What's that you got there? A spring? Well, I'm just gonna eat this food and I'm gonna watch you. There you go, off the cliff! <laughs> you dumbass fucking <laughs> dog. Anyway, Mr. It Stunner. was a fucking coyote! It's a dog. Coyote! A dog is a coyote. Coyote is a dog. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Suck it. Look, look into the past. Look, look at her reviews. text. Okay. Belch. Look at the past, look at the reviews of your new programming, and put it together. What? Not to mention that some of the stuff... Learn how the classic programs that made sense are better at teaching children than these newer shows. And you'd better learn quick before more people boycott your beloved Cartoon Network. Good day to you, sir. And then that's... (laughs) That's all you got. Yeah.